Well, yeah, how's everyone doing? Good at home. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the Atari VCS, you know. It's been out nearly two years now, you know. And I want to give my opinions on, on the Atari VCS of the, of the time that it's been out and we've had it and stuff. But think it's awesome. And we think it's, it's only going to get better over time, you know. Um, because Atari uh, indie devs keep putting games on the Atari VCS Star, you know. And they're all good games. I've, I've played them all, I've, I've tested them all. And they're all great games. I mean, there's, there's not one stinker on it, in my opinion, like, you know. Uh, if, 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 like, platforming games, shooting games, and stuff like that, uh, all still sort of games, then the Atari VCS is awesome, you know. But not only the, the Atari VCS star, you know, who can play. Xbox games to uh, to uh, uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming. You know, we can play with, with Crown, we can play pretty much any game I want. Uh, Sega Mega Drew, Super Nintendo, N64, PlayStation 1, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Atari Lynx, Game Gear. Even systems that never came out in the world, like the Virtual Boy, G the Amstrad GX 4000. I mean, I mean, you know, with Crown, you know, we could, we could play Atari 1500 games, 2600, 7800, we, we, we could play all the games. Because there's so many online emulators now. And it's easy to use them. All you have to do is type in retro games online, or NES games online, SNES games online, and it brings up a whole bunch of online emulators. And it's it awesome. And it, in my opinion, it, it, that's where the, the true value of the Atari VCS lies, you know. And the fact that you can play tells and tells of retro games, modern games and stuff. And uh, if you choose to upgrade your Atari VCS, it can run Dreamcast games, PS2 games, GameCube games, PS2. But my, my Atari VCS, uh, it, it's not upgraded, but I'm happy with that, you know. Because uh, one, I would have paid for stuff to get put in there, and I don't have the skills to do so. So, the upside is, wherever you choose to do on your Atari VCS, you're going to have access to thousands and thousands of games, you have hours and hours of fun. And that's the best, and that's the thing that's, that makes the Atari VCS. Awesome, it's fun. It's fun, it's easy to use, and there's no restrictions. And um, trust me, uh, the, we, we have all the consoles Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, all of them. The only system that I couldn't get a hold of was, was the PS5 because it's been sold out everywhere. And Sony did a really bad job there, in my opinion, uh, not making it available. Um, for everybody, so I never got my hands on the PS4, and to be honest with you, I wasn't gonna get one because I don't work the way it looks, it's too big and it's too expensive, you know. So, see, so I'm comparing the Atari VCS to these other systems, you know. Um, value was if we're talking value, the Atari, the, the Atari VCS is the better value system, in my opinion, you know, because it. You don't have to pay for an online subscription, you know. Uh, and right now, like, um, you have access to every system. Whereas with Nintendo, they only give you dribs and drabs of games a few every month, you know. And you have to pay for the well for the expansion pack. If if you want to play play N sixty four and Sega Mega Drive games on your Switch, you have to pay forty euro a month. And they they only give you two two or three free games every month. Whereas with the with the Atari VCS, you have access to all the games for every system. The, the only downside of the power is sometimes, uh, some games run slowly, but not not all the time. And there's more than one online emulator. So if you're on your Atari VCS and the games run slowly, there's always another online emulator that runs the game better. You just have to look around, but. 
the, the average person isn't going to notice that and bad about these games, you know. But they're free, that's the thing, they're free. You know, all they have to have is the is an internet connection. So, you know, my opinion, the entire process is, and the, People tell me uh, if 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 I upgraded my Atari VCS, we could play PS3 games, um, Dreamcast games, hell, even Switch games are being emulated on the Atari VCS. So that's it. So look, so what I'm saying is, like, uh, it's a great system and it has a great future ahead of it because it keeps getting support by Atari indie devs. You know, and the fact that the games are all cheap, that's, that's another thing, you know. But, like I said, in my opinion, the true value is Crown. Or, or if it's used to upgrade your Atari VCS, if it's used to upgrade your Atari VCS, you have access to even more games, and you don't have to pay for an online subscription. Plus, the Atari VCS looks awesome, looks sweet, and the controllers work great. There's no, no issues. You know, in my opinion, like, you know, trust me, I've had it over two years and I've had fun with it every, every day. I've used it every day and it's awesome, in my opinion, you know. So, yeah, I mean, uh, so like, Xbox seems to be, with, with the Game Pass, you can't beat that, you know what I mean? All the games you get with Game Pass. It's all, but for me, it, it, it's twelve ninety nine a month for Xbox Game Pass. Uh, but all, all the tells are tells the games. But thanks to the entire VCS, we can play the games on there too. So we can ha have access to all the Xbox games as well on the entire VCS. Now, yeah, now the, it's streaming and the quality is not as good as playing on actual Xbox, but it's damn good in my opinion. And yeah, it's, it's it, I mean... If you never played an Xbox before, and um, if you played an Atari VCS, and you, you're playing something like Far to Rise of Far or Halo Infinite to your Atari VCS by Xbox style game, and you're going to think this is just like an Xbox. I'm not messing. Now, look, like I said, sometimes there is slowdown. I can see a bit of fuzziness on the screen, a bit of, you know, but it's definitely, definitely playable, and again, it's free. All you have to have is an Xbox um, Ultimate subscription to actually play the game. So, but, you know, so think about it like this: the the boy in, in, in Atari VCS. So right now, some places have it for three fifty, uh, four hundred. You no, know? but on eBay, I've seen them go for two sixty for an Atari VCS. That's with the controller and the joystick, right? So two sixty, right? So, what do you get for that money? You have a Linux mini PC that's capable of playing Xbox One games. We, it's you know we can play any game at once. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, NES, uh, you name it, you name it. Now, if you choose to upgrade the entire PC to maximum specifications, you can play you know uh, PS Two, GameCube, Dreamcast. You can even Switch is is uh, being emulated right now. So if you take that, take all that into account, that's it. Because with Xbox, you're always paying every month. Nintendo Switch, you're paying even more. You're paying 40 euro a month, right? And with PlayStation, they have their own system now. Uh, with PlayStation Plus, right? Before, PlayStation just had one PlayStation Plus and that was it. But now, they have three tiers of PlayStation Plus. And in my opinion, all three of them are not worth the money you're paying for. You know... Now, me personally, I've stopped paying for PlayStation Plus about a year now because it's just not worth the money, in my opinion, you know. It's the games. The games that are offering me on PlayStation Plus are just not interesting to me and it's not worth the money. But by PlayStation Plus, you have Essential, Extra and Premium. They're the three tiers on PlayStation Plus at the moment, but it's not worth it, in my opinion. So, plus, the, the, the PlayStation 5, you can't even get a hold of one for over two years now. And every time I've seen a price for it, it's nearly 700, 700, 800 euro. So, pass on that. So, so in my opinion, in, in these last two years, we've had more fun on my Atari VCS playing games than uh, any other systems, you know. The only reason I use my Xbox is to play Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty, 
minor warfare to your wood tickets are awesome and the it, you know if, if, if uh, but that's not a reason why I'm gonna use my Xbox you know my switch is gathering dust because we can play all the NES games all the SNES games and my Atari VCS full screen and thanks to these online emulators you have settings that aren't available on the Nintendo Switch like Super Mario Bros uh, Super Mario Bros 3 you can make it look full screen and you can make a sound better look better on the Switch you have black bars going around the game which annoys me because it's not taking up the whole screen so you have Game Boy games the, the Switch doesn't even have Game Boy games on it yet so and you're paying you have to pay 40 euro if you want to play N64 games and Sega Mega Drive games and that looks at Nintendo give you a few games every month that's not good enough but so I'm actually thinking about cancelling my, 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 my Nintendo Switch subscription also because just just like PlayStation they're not offering me enough for that money I, I, that's just my opinion you know what I mean the, the Switch the, you have to pay 300 to 400 right? uh, that's for an OLED model now the the RNA model is two fifty to three hundred in my in my game stop. and the Switch Lite is still the cheapest one hundred and ninety nine. You now, but like I said, uh, unless you have play say, unless you have our Switch online service, you can't play any of those games. So you have to pay them twenty euro at least for the normal play say, for the normal Switch online. But if you want to play the N sixty four games and the um, the Sega Genesis games, you have to pay for the expansion pack as well. So forty euro a year, you know what I mean? So it's not worth it. Like I said, my Switch is gathering dust slowly, you know, because we can play all those games on my Terry VCS. Plus we have access to tons of like PC games, like MS DOS games, like uh like Heretic. Heretic is the is the game for Far Hex and if 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 you like all all skill force person shooters you got to love the Atari VCS, which is why we love it. Uh, racing games, fighting games, you name it, you know. Uh, so, you know, and there's no... So, so, so that's the biggest advantage, we think, the Atari VCS has over the other systems. It has no online subscription, and they have tons, uh, tons and tons of games. And that's out of the box with 8GB of RAM, 32GB of storage. That's what my Atari VCS has. Now, if we upgraded it, like I said, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go up, we'll go upgrade it to um, 22 uh, gigs of RAM and 2 terabytes of storage. And we'd never have to worry about getting another uh, SD card or anything or more memory or anything like that. And we could play tells and tells of games. I'm talking top tier um, PC games. Now, the performance won't be great because the... The Atari, PC, the Atari PCS is underpowered, but not so much that you can't play the games. But it's still great, awesome, great value. Value for money is, I think, the Atari PCS's biggest strength at the moment. And the fact that it keeps getting support, it, it's starting off just like the Switch did. It was slow, but it's getting there all the time. You know, so they're my opinions. Uh, after two years, with, with my Atari VCS and have more fun on it than my other systems, you know. Uh, like I said, PlayStation, I've cancelled my subscription because it's getting more expensive and they're not giving me the games I want. And now they have this new bullshit uh, three-tier PlayStation Plus system. No. We, uh, my, my Nintendo Switch, I haven't used that in over a month. It's gathering dust because we can play the same games on my Atari VCS. The only games I can't, the, the, the only thing that Switch has is its ex exclusive games, like like a Breath of the Wild and stuff like that. But like I'm bored with that game to be honest with you, Breath of the Wild, and there's not enough first party Nintendo games that I'm interested in at the moment. You know, uh, whereas with the uh, with you now the Xbox, I'm, I'm playing. Call of Duty, that's the re reason we use my Xbox Series X, you know. Uh, but, like I said, the entire PCS, we can, have, we can play Xbox games on there. Uh, we'll, we'll just have more fun on it. But, uh, but they're my opinions, you know. Uh, if, if, if the value is, I think the entire VCS is the best option, you know, at the moment. But that's my opinion, you know. 
so yeah, awesome. I'm just hoping that Atari bring out a night to be recharged for for the Atari VCS, you know. So they're my opinions. Um, the uh, yeah, so two years will will have it, you know. Like like this Christmas Eve two years ago, uh, UPS delivered the Atari VCS to my daughter. I was really really happy. Like I said, in those two years, the the lobby is. The Lurby in the Atari VCS Star's Crown. I mean, I've bought and played every single game on it, and they're, they're all good games. There's not one stinker, you know. Uh, there's not one game that that much that much it pisses you off, like you know. What I mean, they're just like all skilled games. You know what I'm saying? To you. So awesome. And like I said, Crown is is worth the biggest value for the Atari VCS Lewis because you have access to every game, you know. Now, like I said, some games run slowly, but but you're talking maybe fifteen games out of thousands. You know what I mean? Um, uh, so out of the box, like like my Atari VCS, you're gonna have fun. If you choose to upgrade it, you're gonna even have more fun because you'll be able to Dreamcast games, GameCube games, top tier PC games. Like like us saying, Modern Warfare Two would run. Or the Atari VCS, but it would struggle though. I say that, you know, but it's possible. So that's what I'm saying. Eh? So it's worth it, in my opinion. Like, now, I hope Atari keep things as they are. Because if, if Atari put an online subscription on the Atari VCS, now I'm going to buy it because then the value wouldn't be there anymore. You know, because that's the one thing that has overdo the systems, in my opinion. It, it, it makes no sense for Atari to. Put an album subscription on the Atari VCS because no one would pay for it. You know, because the, the games you have, well, they're good and all, they're not worth an album subscription, you know, in my opinion. Uh, but that's my opinion. So, uh, they're my opinions. Two years of the Atari VCS, uh, it's, it's been fun of play games on it every day, all, all skill games. If, if you're an all skill gamer like me, you're going to love the Atari VCS because not only do you have the games on the, on the Atari VCS star. Like yesterday, Heroes of Loot is a, is a great game, uh, and they brought out uh, a new version of um, Missile Command Recharged, which is awesome, you know, and they're all cheaply priced, and we have the Atari 50th Anniversary Collection coming out in on the 11th of November, which is going to be a, a huge celebration of Atari 50 years, uh, it's going to be awesome, there's going to be Atari Jaguar games in there, here, and Atari Lynx games, so that's awesome, Look, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we had uh, we've had Atari Atari Mania, which is an awesome game. Uh, uh, Space Grunts, uh, Mega Noid, uh, Gun Tech. You know, we can go on and on. So many great games on, on the Atari VCS. Uh, Dinosaur Scavenger. Uh, so awesome. They're my opinions. You know, uh, nearly two years uh, of having the Atari VCS. It's been awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and see now in a few minutes and play a few games on it. So that's my opinion. The, the Atari VCS is the system they get. If you like retro games, if you like value for money, uh, you know, because it saves you from spending money on eBay and it turns out that the game didn't work or it just wasn't that great to begin with. So this is a great way to test these old games before I decide to put down money on actual hardware or games on the, on the Atari VCS star. I mean, on eBay, you know what I'm saying? So, they're my opinions. So, uh, I hope everyone has a good day out there. Take care, and bye-bye.